we present you the Van Gogh VG1. The dinette offers real leather seats with seating for four, a table that swivels in and out, swivel locks, you're in, it's almost like a high chair. We're ready to serve our bar, sitting at a bar, somebody give me something good to eat. Focusing on truly the comfort of only two. So what we had to do is give you a dinette area, a seating area that was really designed and optimized for two, but you can have friends over when there's four people aboard, another couple. Six inches of foam with a bolster, real cherry rails. Underneath here, we have laminate, easy for cleaning and maintaining. The engineers and shipwrights have done countless hours of research on what the number one complaints on camper vans were. And it was hands down by far the bed, most uncomfortable. All the other beds are assembled with three different cushions creating these large seams everywhere. Very uncomfortable. Nobody likes it and no one wants to convert it. Everyone wants to keep the bed at a comfort level, but they think they want the conversion to have the room. Since we designed it in such a unique way, we we're able to give you a mechanical room, which is where your AGM battery is, your master kill switch, your inverter, your indicators for all of your indirect lighting, your bus bars, and your Bluetooth smart charger, which will connect to your phone. Most of the technology here connects right directly to your phone. Your entire RV is distributed through right here. Here's your main breaker. Your Fiamma 12 and a half foot retractable smart awning with wind sensors. Your controls, your dimmer switches. Both controls are on a dimmer switch. Super simple, outside, inside, dimmer on, off. It is really that easy. So now you have cubby holes right here for when you're crawling into your bed. The bed is six foot six. I'm six foot three, so you have room for two people. It's almost 50 inches wide. It's just under a queen size bed. Real uh, cherry. Here are your steps for the vertically challenged. It's really smart engineering at its finest. The comfort of a uh, real bed at home. This is five inches of memory foam, real quality, high quality memory foam built by a marine mattress company. So it's the highest quality materials and underneath it again is laminate. So super simple cleanup, super simple maintenance. The inside kitchen of Van Gogh, stainless steel faucet, stainless steel sink, high quality laminate countertops, induction plate. This is unique to the Van Gogh four wine glass holders. We're the only person who does this, the only people, the only company, the only camper van who has this option. Directly above that, you have your microwave. Next to your microwave, you have sliding drawers where you can keep your plates, plenty of room, nice storage. Right here is how we keep our silverware from chattering down the road. It's all on magnetic stripping which keeps it in place the entire time. Magnetic stripping for all your knives, solid rail, cherry, inspired by the shipwrights. Right here is your refrigerator. Your inside refrigerator is 3.2 cubic feet, 110, 12 volt, and gas, propane. Plenty of room in there. Now you get two refrigerators on Van Gogh, but we'll show you the other one later. Next to this refrigerator is the pantry. A very large pantry that automatically lights up as soon as you open it up. It's real deep, goes way back there. Tons of room to store whatever you're looking to store. Van Gogh offers a Lazy Susan. Right inside this Lazy Susan is a 24 spice rack holder with all the room you could possibly want to store all your goods, store all your pantry items. And alongside it, you could store all your long cylinder stuff like spaghetti and your any sort of noodles or whatever you want to put in here. The Lazy Susan. On the side of the bed is attached a handle for easy access. Directly underneath that handle is a toilet paper dispenser, waterproof. On the other side is an access point so you can change your lights on the back here or access your plumbing if necessary. Delta water faucet. Here is truly one of the best features of Van Gogh. Inside shower, outside shower. Just simply 
closure shower curtain along this track here for your privacy, for your toilet, and for your shower. And this little bad boy, toothbrush holder, stainless steel. Now, this also doubles as extra seating in Van Gogh. It's a solid cherry seat, hydraulically driven, uh, used shower seat, or just extra seating if you have guests over in your Van Gogh. All of this crazy stuff we're able to put under the bed here in Van Gogh. The toilet, a full porcelain toilet, held in by a mechanism. When you're traveling, it must be locked. Super simple, just like that. Pull out the toilet. It has an auto flush on it. Full size porcelain, auto flush toilet, which feeds to a 14 gallon black water holding. You put it in, you lock it down, you go. That's Van Gogh. Above the bed, you have two large storage bins for your clothing, his and hers. Push, open, light automatically turns on. Underneath the jump seat, you have a pull-out storage, which is where we're currently storing all of our cleaning supplies for this unit. Right next to that, you have a five gallon trash container for your convenience. Multiple safety features in Van Gogh the fire extinguisher, and above the sliding door, we have the smoke detector. The sliding door of Van Gogh. Full blackout shades. Opening window. Above that, we have a solid cherry cubby hole. Next to that, we have a massive cubby. Huge cubby in here. You could store a lot of stuff for sure. Next to that, you have another overhead storage. This one doesn't light up when you open it up, but it has a hydraulic on it. We know most people use their phones these days, but we decided to give you a flip down monitor television, which you can connect your phone to, or you can connect your computer, your laptop to. It plays directly through the house stereo system of Van Gogh. 15,500 BTUs of heating and air conditioning provided in Van Gogh controls your environment within seconds. We offer a unique option here at Van Gogh. This is called the road platform. Very simple to operate. Has four swinging legs, swing all four of them down. It has load, tie downs. So you can tie down a load in this area right here. You can put your generator here. You can put your gas bottles here. This is cork. So when you're coming in and out of your RV from the beach or the forest or the dirt, you can come right here. You can shower right here. The road platform has a nice folding out aluminum step. Very solid, very solid platform. And so now at this point, all you do is move your shower nozzle like this, pull this door this way, and right here, this is your shower curtain. It just folds all the way out, just like so. Here is your hanging locker, plenty of room to hang all of your coats or clothing. Inside here is a maintenance port when you ever have to check out your uh, flexos for your toilet mechanism. 5.5 cubic foot of storage, massive storage, a massive box. If you were to put something like this on the inside, it would just destroy the inside and it would make it seem very, very small inside of here. And that's what you get with the other camper vans is a claustrophobic engineering design. The galley layout that they all have. Our layout is called the Van Gogh layout because we invented this layout. We are uniquely the only ones who do a layout like this. Right here is your barbecue and your outside kitchen. You have a countertop that extends. You have your propane grill with 110 ignition. As you can see, you can climb up here on the platform and cook it. This is a heat shield right here. And here is your outside refrigerator freezer. This thing gets down to four degrees in a matter of minutes. It's really, really fast acting. Van Gogh has running boards on both sides of the van. This is a solid cherry bull nose with teak and holly flooring. Directly on the inside of the camper van is a toggle switch that you push and hold and the awning will extend. This awning is a smart awning. It has wind sensors. So if it gets a little too aggressive, it's just gonna pull in all on its own. And then we'll go ahead and close this door so you can see there's two external floodlights here on this side. You have barbecue hooks here on this door 
the little cubby storage. On the back side, top, you have an additional two floodlights on the back side of it. You have your spare tire. You have an extended license plate that lights up. Here are your waste, your gray water, your black water, right here, simple pull. Both of our 14 gallons, your black and your gray. Right over here, Van Gogh has, uh, this is a, again, another option. It's locking mechanisms for your water so nobody could tamper with your water. Here is your 110, 30 amp hookup. <laughs> Directly next to that is your storage for your cable for your 110 hookup. Here's your running board. Here's your gas fill on this RV. This is on the Dodge 2500 Pro Master. And of course, here's our beautiful logo. Go for a little road trip and see how she does. Here we are on our test ride with the Van Gogh. First thing I notice is it's a much smoother ride than I would anticipate for such a big vehicle. Uh, it's got a telescoping steering wheel, so that makes it nice. Uh, we're about to run over a massive speed bump, so that's uh, also telling me that the van's got a lot of clearance. The gas mileage on this thing is, is pretty ridiculous. It gets 28 miles to a gallon, I believe, to the highway and uh, 22 to city, something like that. It's a super quiet coach. As you can hear, there's almost nothing in the background. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. I mean, it's, it's, it handles like a, like a smaller vehicle. You just wouldn't expect that. And really, listen how quiet that coach is. That's pretty darn quiet. Van Gogh is 7,600 pounds, which is nearly 2,000 pounds lighter than our nearest competitor. And that's why we get such excellent gas mileage. And that's why this van still has a lot of get up and go. Let's go ahead and hit this throttle a little bit going up this bridge. We're going up the Kima Causeway the Clear Lake Causeway on 146. Listen to those ponies. Man, this thing has absolutely no problem going up that hill. Accelerated from 40 to 60 that quick. Here we are in beautiful Kima, driving the Van Gogh over the causeway. This is the only hill we have in Texas. We don't really have hills here. It's all super, super flat. So that's our one test of power for you.